morning. So it's already raining. It's not too heavy yet. Not like yesterday afternoon, but it's heavy enough that I'll be wet in about, like thoroughly wet in about 10 minutes if I don't use the poncho. So it's eight to seven and couldn't get to sleep again last night. So wasn't asleep until nearly one. So I slept in again and uh, got up at six, I guess. And I've got about, I think it's like 28.7 kilometers today. So um, little marker says 31, but in the app it says 28.7. We'll see what the Apple app says at the end. And it's the Camino Ninja app that I'm using, by the way. And uh, yeah, so I'm guessing it's about, it's about six hours of walking, depending. I mean, the weather report says it's gonna rain, sorry, all the way through, no pause. Well, it's like 90% 90, 90 chance <laughs> for every single hour of the day. So I'm guessing rain without pause. And um, what else can I say? I'm possibly not gonna take a break because of that. But I can at least show you a little bit. Probably won't be any gorgeous sunrises this morning. But little town where I came from in the mountains. And I'm continuing up. So we're probably gonna Unless the road goes around the mountain, we're possibly gonna go up and then over. I'm not really sure. Um, that's it. If I can take the phone out during the day to film, I will, but yesterday there wasn't much opportunity to do that. So I'll check you later when I can. So. It's actually, I think it's abated for the moment. And yesterday, I remember I said there was, uh, like, I was showing you all the fog. Like, I love fog. I love walking into fog. And I was talking about all the fog yesterday that you could see, but that wasn't actually fog. That was the driving rain just in the distance. But this is actual fog. And, um, yeah, the only other thing I was going to say is my boots were thoroughly soaked yesterday, as were my socks, which didn't dry by today. And my boots hadn't dried either. But, uh, and I was, you know, like, okay, well, this isn't going to be comfortable, but at least it's only one day, you know, walking in wet boots. But strangely enough, they, my feet do not feel wet at all. So I'm not really sure how that works, but my feet feel perfectly fine and dry even though to the touch on the outside, the boots are wet, you know, or damp at least. They're not dripping. So yeah, I'm like, I'm really psyched about that bit of comfort. And yeah, just walking along. I'm imagining that I can feel a bit of ocean breeze in this air, but 29 kilometers seems a long ways for an ocean breeze to travel. But it's reminding me again of how much I love the ocean. So Sterling is not near the ocean. Uh, and, you know, I wanted to keep my kids at their school just to, you know, keep everything, I don't know, stable, I guess. But I am definitely, definitely fully feeling the pull of the sea and We'll see what it's like spending this time at Finisterre. If I even stay there, I'm imagining that I'm going to stay there for several days. And yeah, we'll see what it's like spending some time at the sea. What that, if that changes anything in me, in my direction for where I want to be. So, uh, I haven't been filming much. It has stopped raining. I'm still wearing my little suit. Took the poncho head off. But check out what is ahead. That's ocean, baby. 
That's ocean. Holy gramoli. We have made it. This isn't Finisterre yet. We've still got 20 kilometers to go, but or 19 or whatever it is. But this is definitely tons closer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've just been having, you know, lots of creative thoughts this whole morning. It's just been, it's just past nine. So I've been out, that one says eight comma nine kilometers. So it's, um, it's been just a really, you know, jaunty walk. I've been practically jubilant, <laughs> two J's. Uh, it's just been really nice, creative, fun, pleasurable. This Camino definitely has a very special sauce. The Camino Francais is like, I don't know, it was like, I don't know if it's the difference in the length that I know this one is three days and the other one, you know, was 30 plus days. I ended up only doing it in 32, which is actually relatively fast. Um, I think even in the book, Brearley did it in 33 and I had planned on 34 to 36, but um, at any rate, uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't try and do it fast. It's just how things turned out. My endurance and stamina picked up. And, but anyway, Camino Francais was more of a, I don't know, I guess exploratory. There's some little town there. It looks so pretty. It was more of an exploratory thing, more of a, an endurance kind of thing. And Finisterre is like, it's all about pleasure. It's all about creativity. It's like the joyous mind. And it's a, uh, wow, this, these are so dark from the rain, no doubt, but it's interesting. Um, they must be dark anyway as well, these uh, tree trunks. But yeah, it's just, it's a very, it's got its own special sauce, this, this Camino. And um, even my feet were like, I think I mentioned in the beginning that like my boots were wet, but it didn't feel wet. And then at some point after like five kilometers, I was like, oh yeah, I can tell, you know, my socks are wet now, but even now it all feels good. Um, there's nothing really, nothing much to say. This has just been super pleasurable. I think I mentioned two hours have gone by, gone just over 10 kilometers. The temperature is fantastic. Oh, look at that view. Look at that. I'm gonna try and zoom in on that. Beautiful little village by the seaside. Check it out. The dock. All right. Wow. This is exciting. Anyway, I think that's everything I was gonna say. I'll catch you later. So the question with those two signs, yes, one is shorter and one is longer, but I looked at it on the map and one takes you through the town and like sometimes they lead you to like the churches and things like that um, and like through the main squares and stuff like that. And then the alternative route just goes like right along the, it's not like proper, it's not beach sea or anything, but it's like just along the water and then it meets up to the Santia, to the Compostela again. So um, I'm happy with walking along the water. So I'm just gonna go for that. So sometimes when you're faced with a choice between two paths, one will be shorter, one will be longer. And the assumption is that the longer one is the correct path and the shorter one is, you know, a shortcut. And what, often when I check on my app though, the marked Camino, at least on my app, is 
the one that's shorter. And what it often turns out to be is that the shorter, it might be shorter, but it's like slightly more difficult or more overgrown or steeper or something like that. And often, as I've said, the longer routes lead you through the town center, you know. I mean, as you saw in C, that's how I think you pronounce that town, it's spelled C-E-E, -E. Uh, we still came to a church. I don't know how many there are, but I'm assuming that extra kilometer that I missed out would have possibly taken me to another one. And this route, I'm sure we'll meet up with the regular Camino. Well, this is the regular Camino according to my app, but the other one, we'll meet up with this one, or it already has. It's hard to tell sometimes if both aren't indicated on the app. So, yeah. There's been, there have been a few climbs. Oh, here's another big one. There have been a few climbs and it's really been fine. This is, I think, the steepest yet, but I haven't really noticed much. But I'm gonna pack this away for now. Hey, so we're coming up to a little town, Sardiniero, and According to my Apple app, it says I've come just over 21 kilometers. According to the street marker, uh, kilometer markers, it says 22 kilometers. And according to the app that I'm using, I should be, yeah, like at about 20. Actually, I forgot to check. <laughs> But I think it should be, it's like 2021. So um, the street marker one started us off at 32, which I thought wasn't quite right. It should have been about 29, at least according to the app. But uh, anyway, no matter how you slice it, it's under 10 kilometers. It's even under nine kilometers because I think the app said it was 28.7. Or is it 29.7? Oh, nuts. I don't know anymore. But it's essentially another two hours. It's been four hours of walking. I haven't taken a pause just because I haven't really felt like it. And uh, yeah, there hasn't really been anywhere to pause. And, you know, it's been off and on wet. So I'm probably just going to keep going until I get there, uh, which will be another, you know, hour and a half, two hours two hours before we're going 10 kilometers so probably you know hour and a half something like that and this is the next little town that we're coming up on I'm not sure what that one's called yet but um, I think there are a lot of little towns most of the way or maybe like with the exception of the last five kilometers there might not be a town I think I remember seeing that last night. So yeah, not a huge amount of pilgrims on the road, but there are some, probably more going in the other direction. I met um, a young woman at Ologoso last night and she had done the Camino del Norte. And from that, she went to Muxia and from there to where I met her last night. And she's on her way to Santiago. So I think, a lot of people might be doing it that way in Mushia Finisterre and then Santiago. So like if they've done the Norte. Um, and that's a similar length of time. It's about five weeks to do that one. So yeah, I think I've met more people going in the, well not met, but seen more people going in the other direction than going in this direction, which is fine by me. <laughs> um, but there are a few going this way. Anyway. Uh, I see, in fact, two in front of me, and I already passed by three today, so there are a few of us, and a couple people that I met at Ologoso 
are also going to Finisterre. So, anyway, uh, there's another Oreo. You can see that maybe we're gonna pass by. And it looks like some wild corn left over. And I'll check you later. Oh, there's someone with. Is that a dog? I can't tell. Yeah, I think it's a dog. And uh, it's just so pretty here. I really think these eucalyptus woods are beautiful. I was told by Maria Jose that they have been planted for paper because they grow really fast. But growing really fast is like something positive as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I, if I were to be able to plant them and grow them, then I wouldn't cut them down for paper. That says 7979. But, uh, but the fact that they grow fast is quite lovely and they make beautiful shade. I can't imagine they're all gonna be cut down for paper. Anyway, the app says this is the last stretch so the Sarinero was that last town we were in. And then this is the six kilometer stretch until the end. So. Okay, so check this out. I don't know if that's Finisterre or not. It seems awfully close for seven kilometers or six kilometers. But I don't think we're supposed to be hitting any other towns. It's getting super exciting now. I do know the Finisterre is on a little lake of land. It's a little peninsula, so it certainly looks right. Maybe it's just gonna take six kilometers to get through all these woods to get around the bend until we get there. And then I'll be in touch. My heart is filled with joy at that kind of a scene. God, I love it. It's been some, so long since I've been to this kind of an ocean. We actually went with all the kids recently to, uh, where were we? Troon. That was really nice. This is different though. Private little cove, woods. This is different for sure. This is the path that lies ahead. We just came down a pretty steep gradient. Now we're going up. Can't quite tell in the video, but it's pretty steep. Oh God, I can smell the ocean. I love it so much. All right, it's 11.30. What does that mean? 11.30 is up five and a half hours. Four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. We'll be there soon. We're in the home stretch now. There's a little town or hamlet or something that we passed through before. Fistera or Finisterre. I think Fistera is the Galician name and Finisterre is the Spanish name. But the signs here say Fistera. And uh, yeah, it's like, this is crazy exciting, you know? That one says five kilometers, still five and a half, actually. It's so hard to believe it's still five and a half kilometers because on my little app map, it looks so much closer. And yeah. And like, I think this is the next little hamlet. And right after that is Fistera, so. I don't know. I've never really trusted those signs completely. But uh, it's just, it's an amazing, amazing feeling, you know, walking here. Uh, knowing that I'm so close this to this special place. And obviously it's changed so much in all the hundreds of years that people have been coming here but it's still the end of the world and 
I've nearly reached it. <laughs> the lighthouse for the view. Or that, yeah, because the beach to see the sunset is maybe eight, eight minutes walking. The lighthouse is 35 minutes walking. So it just depends to you. Tonight, I think I'll see it from the beach. Yeah. And if I stay tomorrow, I'll go to the lighthouse. Yeah. I've seen already one sunset from the lighthouse. Ah, okay. Or two. But here at the Faro? Yes. Oh, okay. I, I, I was, ah, this is Palo Alto. Yeah. I, I do this at home. Counts <laughs> <laughs> uh, the energy. But, yes, how do you do it only with white? Uh, because I hate when you start with the black one. What do you mean the white? If you mm -hmm. start it with the fire, uh -huh. and it starts having black smoke, 